child of God, sharing the message of the gospel has absolutely nothing to do with you. I'm talking to a believer right now. The message of the gospel, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ as the believer has absolutely nothing to do with you. If we say we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, like it says in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 16, we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation. Let us truly not be ashamed. Think about the message that you share for someone else from another platform, from Facebook, from YouTube. You are not ashamed of that message. You just share the message because it has nothing to do with you. Child of God, servant of God, ambassador of God, disciple of Christ, sharing the message of the gospel has absolutely nothing to do with you if you claim you are not ashamed of this gospel of Jesus Christ, I tell you today, begin to rise up and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many, many are waiting to hear the gospel. Many are dying. The world is a lost and dying world and people are waiting for the sons of God to manifest the gifts that are on the inside of us. Hallelujah. So what you need to do is to rise up in boldness, in faith, and say, yes, God, Lord, I will go where you want me to go, and I will do what you want me to do, and say what you want me to say. There's no time to be afraid anymore. It is the lost and dying world. We can see it all over the world that everybody is dying, but if we don't tell them about Jesus, we have blood in our hands. Let us rise up and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have no time in our hands. We don't want to be accountable for people's souls. If we say we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, like Jesus says, like he says in the book of Romans, let us rise up and share the gospel. The power, it is the power of God unto salvation. There's a lot of platforms out there, out there that includes the streets, that includes the bars, that includes the nightclubs, that includes uh, wherever people are, that includes uh, the parks. There's a lot of places where people can share the gospel. You don't have to lie down anymore. You don't have to be in a slumber anymore. You have to go. The Bible says, go ye into the world. Hallelujah. And preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These signs and wonders will follow them that believe. Hallelujah. So all you have to do is to raise your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I'm available. Use me. Lord, I'm available. Use me. God, I promise you, when you make yourself available to God, he will use you. I bless you with the anointing of God. It is this anointing that destroys, destroys the yokes of bondage. That yoke of bondage of fear that has been operating in your life that caused you not to share the gospel with others. Now I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, from this night forward, from this moment forward, you will tell others about Jesus. No more fear. No more fear, daughter of God. No more fear, daughter of God. Rise up. The earth is waiting for the sons of God, hallelujah, to manifest the glory of God. If we keep in quiet, what are we saying? We are saying there's no power in Christ, but really, all the power is in Jesus, hallelujah. All the glory is in God. We are the carriers of that glory. So I ask you, I implore you to go out there and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. He promised in the book of Matthew 28 that he will be with you all ways and to the end of the earth in Jesus name I love you and God bless you if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior now is the time of salvation today is the day of salvation I'm gonna ask that you just repeat a prayer after me with your lips up loud and your heart open it is unto confession you are saved it is unto believing you are made righteous it is not in your own righteousness
darkness in less than a couple of minutes. I'm going to lead you into a prayer of salvation. And those who are already saved, who who, 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 who want the, the boldness to go out there, you need the fire, you need the Holy Ghost to run out there and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You cannot do this without the Holy Spirit. You cannot do this without the fire of God. So those who need salvation right now, we have never known Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Today is the day, hallelujah, that you will come. You will break the back of the devil in your life. You will break the back of the evil one that has been hindering you from going higher, from getting into a place where God wants you to be. It's been a delay. It's been a delay. So right now, in Jesus' name, I command you, I'm not commanding you, you know. I, I ask you that you pray a prayer of salvation and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So in less than a minute, I can see my battery is going down. Say, say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I therefore accept you as my Lord and Savior. I uh, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for rising up again for me. I am saved, I am born again, and all of my sins are forgiven. I will indeed make it to heaven. Help me, Father, to walk in your ways. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the same manner, the same Jesus that you just accepted as your Lord and Savior today, he wants to fill you with his Holy Ghost that you can run for him, that you can be a witness for him. What is the point of being saved and not run for Jesus? It is a waste of time, sweetheart. It is a waste of time. So just be filled now with the power and the and the glory of God that you may run for Jesus, that you may run for God. No more slumber, no more sleeping, no more waking up late, no more doing this and the other that is not significant to the kingdom in relation to the kingdom. Rise up, son, rise up, daughter, and the Lord is with you. If you pray that prayer of salvation, I tell you today your sins are forgiven. Remember always to run to your father. He loves you so much. He's got a grace. He's got a wonderful plan for your life. And find that Bible teaching church, not just a church, a church that will teach you the Bible, that will teach you the word of God, that will align you with your purpose and the plans of God. In the name of Jesus, I love you and Jesus loves you more. God bless you. See you soon.